Hi, this is Gary at Loyal Shops. I'm very excited to introduce a new Reply Sold feature we call SKU Claiming. Currently with Reply Sold, the way you add products during a live is using a barcode scanner. And it actually reads a tag that's on the product that pulls the same barcode that's in your Shopify store. So we know what product it is, the description is, the price, uh, that information so that we can create a cart for your customers automatically. We've had feedback from segments of our customer set that would like to do something different than using a barcode scanner during certain sales. They call them flash sales. The idea here is to be able to do a sale without requiring the barcode scanner, perhaps so you can stay more engaged with your customers and be able to show the product in even more detail. The example I'm gonna to give today is using earrings and a pegboard. And the idea here is that you have SKUs that are not usually the complex eight or 10 digits, but perhaps you use that SKU for some different purpose. In this example, I'm gonna show you earrings. The SKUs actually represent inventory locations in your store. For example, the pair I show here is a gold drop earrings and E100 would be equivalent of earrings 100 or the E100 box in your inventory. Or for these blue teal tasseled and brass earrings, it would be E232 and the, the ruby red would be an E680. So the idea with this kind of sale is you'd be able to hold your camera, be able to obviously talk to your customers, get them excited, and then move over to the wall with your clothing on it or whatever you're selling, jewelry in this particular case, and zoom in to show that particular item. And somewhere around the item, you've perhaps written down that SKU. So you basically built that board by walking through your inventory, pull something out of the E100 box, those gold hoops, drops, put it on the barcode, and maybe on a whiteboard or a sticker wrote near it the actual SKU. So while you're doing this video, they go, hey, these are gold drop earrings. If you're interested in purchasing these, buy sold E100. You didn't barcode it. They just put in sold E100 and the product is claimed. I think that's gonna give us an opportunity for a different style of business. Perhaps you can do something really fast, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 items, and get through your live quicker. So let's give you a little demonstration of this. So we've got here a board with some earrings on it at these locations I just discussed. I have Reply Sold open. This is live, by the way. You can use this immediately. Reply Sold is ready for your first scan, which you're used to, or your SKU claim. We can pull either barcode out of the Shopify store or SKU, either one of those. We'll basically check if you barcoded first. If you didn't do that, we'll check if the person actually just put in a SKU or a barcode. So I don't have to put anything up here. I'm not gonna barcode. And then this little window is representing a customer actually watching the video. Live just started. And so they're showing you know, virtually this E100 gold drop earrings and the person loves them. So they're gonna write sold E100 right down here. They're gonna hit enter. And bam, it went and looked in the inventory for an E100 SKU. It found it. It actually brought it up here as E100 for $5. There's four left because we just actually claimed one. And then down here, you can see the customer. It gives a little product example of what the information is for the next person looking at for some more detail. And this person just claimed, this is obviously my test page, just claimed the E100 is yours, ribbon loop earrings and gold. And there's the checkout. So I didn't barcode and you could keep doing Doing this. So you show the next item, it's E232, one customer, two customers, three customers, all right, sold, E232, and then boom, we've just now purchased this. It brought up this item as well. There was five of those, now there's four because the person claimed it. If you end up wanting to mix between SKUs and barcodes, you can still do that. So I'm going to get my barcode scanner here, and I'm going to scan an item. There you go, little Sublime t-shirts. If you didn't know, my, my partner uh, was in a band and now his son is in a, a band. So all of our little test stuff is all based off rock and roll. I brought up a barcode and I can write sold 62, my claim number, and I'll do it in extra small. And so I just ran a barcode right in the middle of running a SKU claim, not a problem. So if you want to mix and match something off a board and be able to barcode as well, you can absolutely do that. And then the customer, you, you, you go right back to your board and look at those ruby earrings here as your next item on the board, E680. Customer goes down and grows sold, E680.
and we've just purchased those as well. I really hope that you enjoy this second method of claiming SKUs inside of Reply Sold without the need to barcode. So now you can you can choose the barcode, you can choose to just do SKU claiming, or you can do a mix of the two. Look forward to hearing your feedback. Really hope it helps you sell even more. Best wishes. Take care.